you know, we're, we're sculptors. And you know, uh, uh, some of the classic sculptors, they get this great big huge old granite rock. And they sit and they look at it. And they look at it. And they walk around it. And they walk around it the other way. And then they leave. And they come back the next day and they look at it. And they walk around it. This might go on for weeks or even months. And they're looking to try to see what, what is this rock telling me? What, what can I make out of this? What would be the most appropriate and beautiful thing that I can do with this? So they're looking, they're studying the grain, they're studying all these different things, but they're just walking around it and keeping their mouths shut. And then eventually, they'll suddenly think, aha, this is what I'm going to do. They don't start with the eyebrows. <laughs> they start with the sledgehammer, kaboom. First, we've got to get some kind of a basic shape. Right now, it's just this big old rock. So we have to get some kind of a basic shape. So we get out the sledgehammer and we knock big chunks off. Now it's become a, a workable size and a workable shape. So now we get a, a smaller hammer and a, and a big chisel and we start. And we start refining a little bit more. Then we get a smaller chisel and a smaller hammer. And maybe after weeks or months of this, you can suddenly see, oh, that's going to be a woman. And after God knows how long, we get out the little bitty thing and the little bitty thing and we start doing eyebrows. But that takes time. So think in those terms. You know, when this big mass comes in and you look at it and you think, how am I going to turn this into a body? And you have to look and look and look and see what's there. And then what's the most ideal this person can be? Looking at the fact that maybe they have extraordinarily long legs or an extraordinarily long torso or the shoulders are really too broad, but you can't do anything about the fact they're too broad. So how are we going to incorporate all of this? Someone who's very big boned as to someone who's very small boned. You're the sculptor. You're the artist. So you have to look. What's the most ideal this can be?